Hi, I'm Dennis Kameri. Great to be back in the Gold Coast, a world leader in the number of people around whom you shouldn't make a sudden move. Well, the heat here is unrelenting. Look at that steam coming off the ground. Half the seats are filled. I think that's as good as it's going to get. Joining me is former Richmond full forward, the great Matthew Richardson. Happy to be here today, Dan. Can't wait for this one to start. Practice matches offer the ideal scenario for experimentation, Dennis. And don't forget, practice makes perfect. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. The Suns players run onto the ground. Umpire tosses the coin. The players are all eagerly awaiting the siren. And away we go, and a wonderful bounce by the umpire. He gains possession. Thompson onto the ball. My ball, says the umpire. Wits decisively. Lynch controls. Clean pickup by Brown. Knocks it down in front. Dunstan gets it out of the crowd. Rose it presents and takes the mark. Jams it on the boot now. Martin controls it. Puts the head down as he runs in. Martin for the kick and goal. Point the difference. Brown waiting to bring it back into play. He decides to play on. Brown kicks hard along the boundary line. Boots it. A solid mark from Nunes. Nunes kicks hard along the boundary line. Ross may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. Armitage claims the ball, puts boot to ball. Great hands. He gets boot to the ball. Great move to be able to work into an uncontested position. Thompson drops it. Puts boot to ball. He shouldn't have bothered. The umpire wants to ball it up. Tap by Longer. A favorable bounce. Gets the loose ball. Geary with the kick. Takes it well. That drop punt works well for Dunstan. The mark is taken by Billings. That came off the boot with huge power. Gresham gets the upper hand. 45 meters out. The Saints with a chance to take the lead if this one sails through. It's a point apiece. May's shown a lot of character with his recent performances. He kicks the ball. He lays off the pass. He kicks the ball. He takes a strong mark. He lays off the pass. Miller slams the ball to his boot, lining it up with the goal now. Ainsworth puts his boot on it. Lynch takes the mark uncontested. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. Hit the point post. Out of bounds on the full. Sends the Sharon on its way. Riscatelli got under it. Kicks. Great grab. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. That kick has gone well wide and hit the point post on the full. Free kick. Geary puts it on the boot. Nice work from Nunes. A cool, calm head, clearing it out of defence. Ross just has hands that are magical. He just takes the hook so cleanly. Armitage puts his boot on it. Steven puts his boot on it. Wits with the ball. He boots it. He manages to intercept the bouncing ball. Dunstan by hand. He slams that on the boot. Well done to keep it alive under pressure. Gresham launches one towards goal. 
point the difference. Mike gets set to kick it back in. Membry with the mark. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. Membry shoots it. If that post was a couple of centimetres thinner, it would have been OK. The Saints by two points. Make waiting for the man to free up. Nice contested mark by Joyce. Nice drop punt. The contest, no match for him. Paul, it's really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Wits slams the ball to his boot. Sending it on its way. He climbs the ball. He slams that on the boot. Lynch takes the mark. Lynch feeds it wide. Miller looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Takes it well. He steadies now in front of goal. Distance could be the problem. Going for goal number one. The goal eludes him just wide of the target. The Suns trail by less than a goal. Brown has shown a lot of character with his recent performances. That's a mark concentrating hard as he lines up the goal. Archie kicking for the lead. The goal for the Suns. Back in front goes the Suns. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Wits taps. Controlled by Lynch. Off the ground. Collected by Lyons. Swallow starts in. His shadow beside him. Where else would it be? Well, depends on the side. Booted by Darchi. He steadies now in front of goal. 45 metres out. Gets boot to high. Nice mark under pressure. Ainsworth with the shot. The goal eludes him just wide of the target. A one goal advantage for the Suns. He has a few options. Brown decides to play on. Sends the Sharon on its way. Geary with the mark. Geary has got some sure hands. He doesn't often fumble the loose ball. Ross gets the footy. It's a mark. He kicks the ball. Steven takes the mark. Puts boot to ball. Rosa with a strong mark. Choose to kick it. The ball picked up. Boots it. Lucky bounds collected. Well at hand passes. Lemons kicks it. Wits claims the ball. His stab kick once killed a small dog. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The dog was huge. The umpire wants to ball it up. Cleanly tapped out of the ruck. Armitage gains possession. Oh, he's injured. The doctor will have to take a look at that one. Long is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate wits. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Steele picks up the loose ball. Head down now as he goes in for the goal. Drifts wide to go through for the behind. The Saints, no time to drop off. Less than a kick the difference. He plays it to himself. May kicks hard along the boundary line. Bounces favorably for Hanley. Hanley sends one up towards the wing. And the ball crosses over the boundary. The ball is in the air. Witz thumps it forward. He's got the football now. Nunes gets it out of the crowd. Nice mark there. Boots it. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Dunstan has got good knowledge of the game and he can see the events unfolding in front of him. But he just needs to react a little faster. McCartan gains the loose ball. Riscatelli gathers it. He kicks the ball. He grabs it. Lynch taking aim. Jams it on the boot now. Almost a touch of synchronized swing about that mark. That was the peg. Ainsworth marks the ball. Ainsworth. Ainsworth. He sinks his first goal. The Suns in front. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Longhead is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate Wits. Nunes gathers. Geary gets the ball. Picked up the ball. Penetrating hand pass. Right! Right! Now that miss could prove costly. The Suns lead by two goals.
Brown assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. Riscatelli with the mark. He kicks it. It's a nice piece of that one. Moves it quickly by hand. Archie, he boots it. Slams it home. Archie kicks number two. A three-goal lead for the Suns. Gold Coast for taking their time and looking for the safe marking option in the forward line. Most of their goal production is coming from set shots and it's paying off for them. Great mark. Jams it on the boot. Marked by Swallow. Swallow, he's not the biggest threat on the field, but he can make his opponent accountable. And he requires a watchful eye at times. Lynch, taking aim. Lynch, goes for home. Misses for behind. Brown, waiting to bring it back into play. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Sends it on its way. Webster claims it. Bumps the big skin. Robertson has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. An easy interception for Tabra. Witz gets the mark without contest. Hastily kicked. Miller marks it. Chips it down towards half forward. Great mark. Ainsworth. Just gauging which way that wind is going. 50 minutes from home. A set shot on a 45 degree angle. Richo, what do the stats tell us? Gold Coast and the Saints are close in handballs. Neither team appears to have a distinct advantage. You always have that unique perspective on things, Richo.
Here we go again, quarter number two. If you can believe it, the minds can achieve it. Effective hit out there. Armitage, a good crummer. Gets the loose ball. Lions has seen plenty of the footy. Strong mark. Sends it on its way. Drops the mark and the crummers are waiting. Lobs the pass. Head down now as he goes in for the goal. Bruce takes an uncontested mark. 25 metres out. Gee, you wouldn't like to miss from here. Going for goal number one. The Saints just dropped more than two goals behind. Bruce can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Longer directs it down. He controls the bouncing ball. He's got the footy in his hands. Spears a low ball. Marked by Harbro. Harbro. He's shown a lot of character with his racing performances. Thompson with the kick. He gets the upper hand. Paul boots it. He gets it under pressure. He gets boot to the ball. Steven with the mark. Kicked in a flurry. Perfect timing from Armitage. Gets boot to leather. He shouldn't have bothered. Thompson read the play better than anyone else and takes possession. Drops the mark and the crummers are waiting. Lynch had no chance at that one. Jarlisle slams it on the boot. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Stephen is incredibly competitive and you can count on the fact that if he makes a mistake, apart from being dirty on himself, you won't see another one for a long, long time. Long had got the hit out. He takes control of the loose ball. The loose ball picked up. Puts boot to ball. Great mark. The bouncing ball is controlled. I haven't seen him for a while, Richard. But I don't think his performance is going to go down too well in the coaching box, Dennis. 25 metres out. Bruce shoots it. Chalk up a goal for the Saints. That's number two. That's two in a row for the Saints. Two goals will see St Kilda in the lead. Bruce wears his heart on his sleeve and he just bleeds for this footy club. He gets the hand pass. McCartan there to mop it up. He's heading for home. Goes for his 50. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably the mind messes up more shots than the body. Sends the Sharon on its way. Out of bounds, dangerous spot near the goal. The Rucks are going at it. Long it decisively. Witz gets it on the bounce. Ball up call. Knocks it down in front. Scoops up the ball. He's heading for home. The lead is easily in reach for St Kilda. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Longer can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. He slams that on the boot. Lyons picks up the ball. Wall up call. Witz is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate Longer. Hastily kicked. Lynch laps up the misplaced footy. It's his. Takes that one strongly. Archie on the borderline of his range. Hands like dinner plates. Ainsworth. Takes a shot. Ainsworth. Executes the goal well. He's bagged a couple now. Gold Coast by seven points. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Witz with a big fist on it. With the ball now. Hall shoots off the handball. Lynch going for number one. Almost, but not quite. The Suns by eight points. He looks for a man on the lead. Off the ground. Geary picks it. Armitage with the mark. St Kildick just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. McCartan kicks the ball. He steadies now in front of goal. Going for goal number one. Perfect kick. Gresham kicks his first. The Saints only trailing by less than a goal. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Long it aims for his man on the ground. Able to grab it on the half volley. And now we'll have a ball up. Long it with the punch. Collected by Thompson. Hanley picks it up. He's really a ball magnet. 
Not a pretty drop pump, but it gets away okay. Rosa can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. Wits marks the ball. He slams that on the boot. Lynch with good strong hands. Lynch takes a shot. The Suns have won to their tally. The first goal for Lynch. Gold Coast by eight points. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Nice bounce. Clean tap by Longer. Lucky bounce collected. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Longer gets the tap. Collected by Stephen. He's able to thread a needle and that kick comes out of the pack. He's a long way from home, but he's a chance. A set shot on a 45 degree angle. St Kilda trailing by less than two goals. They're still in this. May has so much potential. He could just be anything. Puts boot to ball. Really solid use of the body to outmark his opponent. He slams that on the boot. Thompson takes the mark. He boots it. He gets the upper hand. He slams that on the boot. He takes a strong mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. Strong mark. Swallow for the daisy cutter. Nice hands. A low kick from Riscatelli. He was never going to get that. Ainsworth obviously loves playing for the club. I can't imagine him being anywhere else. A good hit out there. Riscatelli scoops up the ball. Longer thumps it forward. The loose ball picked up. Lynch must have amazing intuition because he can react so fast to situations it's as though he's had premonitions. I think the Saints mids will be saying to the rest of the team that they've lived up to their end of the deal. They're dominating the clearances but they aren't seeing any reward for their work on the scoreboard. Wits really wears his heart on his sleeve. Robert and hand passes the ball. Longer slams the ball to his boot. Dunstan there to mop up. Now we'll get a ball up. I think the Saints mids will be saying to the rest of the team that they've lived up to their end of the deal. They're dominating the clearances, but they aren't seeing any reward for their work on the scoreboard. Ainsworth heading for goal. That miss is going to come back to haunt him. Gold Coast lead. Brown has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. Ainsworth, it's shaved the post. I hope there are no guys down there looking for a sample after this game. He has a few options. Brown kicks to himself. Choose to kick it. Yoon's looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Kicks it. Great grab. Kicks. Carlisle marks on the run. Choose to kick it. Steele grabs that one. Steele wears his heart on his sleeve and he just bleeds for this footy club. Dunstan there to mop up. Thompson gets the loose ball. Umpire calls for the ball. Punch by Longer. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Stephen with a short hand pass. Now we've got a ball up. Wits looked about as coordinated as Disney's Goofy. And we have a ball up. Wits knocks it down the field. The ball was thrown. Free kick for Swallow. Jams it on the boot. Wins the hard ball. Well, when the Suns were able to mark the ball inside their forward 50 so easily, it's no wonder they're leading this match. The Saints really need to turn up the pressure. He kicks the ball. Swallow marks the ball. He kicks the ball. The loose ball picked up. Robertson lobs the pass. Kicks. A good mark under the circumstances. Willett sends the ball on its way. Nice mark there. Out on the full. and killed it. Free kick. Lemons kicks it. Paul with the mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. Gold Coast kick gaining a lot of the advantage through some smart kicks and even better marks inside their forward 50. Roberton scoops up the ball. It's a ball up. 
claimed by Longer. Gets the loose ball tackled, but gets the handball off. What do the stats look like, Richard? Both teams fairly close in the tackling stats. The Saints, 38. The Suns, 28. Both teams fairly close in the handball stats, 12 to 9. Much appreciated, Richard. We're halfway through the game now. I can't wait for the next half.
players have been down to the rooms now and they would have had some treatment. A talk from the coach and should be ready for another half of football. I know we are. The difference between the impossible and the possible lies in a person's determination. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Puts boot to ball. Thompson presents and takes the mark. Low kick. An easy grab for Riscatelli. Riscatelli. He's a smart guy, but he's got to keep it cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Puts boot to ball. Wits. Takes the uncontested mark. Swallow. Marks it. He gets boot to the ball. He marks the ball. Chips it down towards half forward. Takes it well. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. He kicks it long. Martin has it. A long kick there. Marked by Lynch. The ball is slammed towards goal by Lynch. No good. Far too many points racked up for just one match. Goal Coast over. The Saints by 10. Brown waiting for his teammates to break. They're using the Tokyo subway play. Opportunity now for Dachi. 30 metres out. Going for goal number three. Through for a point. Well, that puts another behind on the score. Gold Coast with the ascendancy over the Saints, leading the match 40 to 29. He'll be looking to spot the player on the burst. A mark by Darchi. Lining up the goal now. 30 metres out. Going for goal number three. Slots it. Three goals and a fine display from Darchi. That's two in a row for the Saints. Gold Coast lead the Saints. The bounce straight down. Long it knocks it down the field. Lynch to Wex. Kicked by Carlisle. He sneaks away for an uncontested mark. Well, uh, he's got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. He steadies now in front of goal. McCartan slams the ball to his boot. He takes the contested mark. He boots it. A great mark under pressure. Harbro slams the ball to his boot. Gets boot to high. And the mark will be paid. Willard kicks. Hanley marks it. Puts boot to ball. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Well, Gold Coast could manage to rack up a big number of marks. It's easy to see why they're leading this match. That's a mark. Ross with the kick. He takes a strong mark. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. Bruce slams one on the boot for goal. He'll be happy with that. The Saints trailing by less than two goals. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Deft touch from Longer. Gains possession. The loose ball picked up by Riscatelli. Longer try swinging your purse next time. Rich coming from a guy wearing makeup. Carlisle feeds it wide. Hands like dinner plates. Chips it down towards half forward. Steady hands there as he holds that one. McCartan sends the ball on its way. Akers will need to pull something special out here. It's in the air. What a huge goal by Akers. He sinks his first goal. The Saints can still catch up here. They're less than a goal down. Akers, it's not the biggest kick of the footy. I'd say 50. Oh, it's going to test him, but he's still got some good power. He runs into the goal. He misses the mark. May kicks. Webster, a good crummer. Chips it down towards half forward. The contest, no match for him. Kicks. Great mark under pressure. Miller kicks it. Marked by Martin. Goes for distance. Nice work from Bainsworth. 45 metres out. Going for goal number three. And he's missed. The Suns just can't nail a goal. Gold Coast with a marginal one goal lead. Brown can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. Nunes with beautiful hands above the head. He really is a great target to kick to. Ross slams the ball to his boot. He boots it. It's a mark. He boots it. That's a mark. 
Bumps the big skin. Marked by Swallow. Swallow. He's got good knowledge of the game and he can see the events unfolding in front of him, but he just needs to react a little faster. He boots it. He takes the contested mark. Archie going for number four. Great mark under pressure. Brown sends the ball on its way. The ball goes over the line and out of play. Ruckman vying for the better position. With, with the hit, the ball in the hands of Armitage. He lays off the pass. A good job keeping it in play there. Superb handball. Hastily kicked. Lyons slams it on the boot. Archie with the mark. A risky proposition from here. He'll need a big kick to make the goals. Intercept by Lynch. A chance to add one more to his tally. Two goal lead for Gold Coast. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Here we go. Long at nicely outclassing Wits. He kicks the ball out of congestion. The mark is taken by May. Gets boot to Leather. A great effort. Sexton. He's quite clean, picking up the ball on the half volley. He handballs it. He goes for home. Geary with good strong hands. He boots it. Carlisle marks it. A long kick there. It's out of bounds across the boundary on the wing. We'll have a throw in. The ball is coming back into play. Cleared by Longer. Swallow with the football. Swallow. He's got good knowledge of the game and he can see the events unfolding in front of him. But he just needs to react a little faster. He lays off the pass. Sends the ball to open space. Ainsworth going for home. Lynch takes a shot. That's a great goal. That's two in a row for Gold Coast. Ominous signs for the Suns. Three goals up now. Here's the bounce. Witz punches it. Lynch with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Long it gets it out of the crowd. Able to grab it on the half volley. Wins the hard ball. Akins taking aim. 35 metres out. Akins whacks one on the boot for goal. The Saints just dropped more than two goals behind. The Suns have been taking the time to size up the right option at the right time, so they haven't been hurt on the turnover. And that's why they're on track to win this match. McCartan has a kick, misses four behind. He's searching for his teammates. Plays on. Make kicks. Nice mark under pressure. His kicks are like fingerprints. No two ever the same. Walsham puts it on the boot. Thompson delusions of grandeur. McCartan, a good drummer. And will get a ball up. Long it punches it. Miller comes away with the ball. Scoops up the bouncing ball. He's a ball magnet. Swallow handballs it. Witz replies back. Umpire not having a bar of that and signalling for a ball up. Witz thumps it forward. Lynch chucks the ball away. There's players everywhere, but somehow he manages to send out the handball. Archie grabs that one. Kicking from about a 30 degree angle here. Archie whacks one on the boot for goal. Goal to Gold Coast. Archie making the lead bigger. The Suns with the upper hand in this match. And it shows on the scoreboard, leading 65 to 23. Archie has got good knowledge of the game and he can see the events unfolding in front of him. But he just needs to react a little faster. Long had got a fist on it. He's like he's on a tightrope at the moment. Look at that fancy footwork. Harbrook sends the ball on its way. Bumps the big skin. Swallow gets the mark without contest. Jams it on the boot now. A great effort. Picks it across the ground. Lynch looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. Tell him, tell him. Ainsworth takes aim for goals. A magnificent kick right through the middle. This kick stretches the lead. The Ruckmen steal themselves before the bounce. A dead straight bounce. Long it with the hit.
We'll go to Richo for this stance. The tackling has been really equal in this match so far. The Saints, 52. Gold Coast, 37. The stats show that both teams are practically kick for kick, with neither willing to let the other have a kicking advantage. Cheers, Richo. And the last quarter of this match is underway. Even when you played the game of your life, it's the feeling of teamwork that you'll remember. You'll forget the marks, the tackles and the goals, but you'll never forget your teammates. Batted down nicely by Longer. The ball in the hands of Stephen. Stephen feeds it wide. Akers with an easy mark. Kicks it. McCartan got under it. 45 metres out. McCartan slams one on the boot for goal. St Kilda, they're in some real trouble here. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. More bounce than a dodgy chip. Witz hits it. Lynch gets it on the bounce. Able to grab it on the half volley. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. Archie going through his routine. Unfortunately, they made the grass very short. Tactically this week. Steady hands there as he holds that one. 30 metres from home. Ainsworth taking a chance at goal. Gold Coast with the advantage as they lead the Saints 77 to 49. The bounce, laser straight. Witz taps it. Miller was taken high. Miller gets a less than pretty drop cut away. Lynch delivers the ball forward. Ainsworth with the mark. 35 metres out. The kick from almost straight in front of the goals. He kicks it. Gun barrel straight. The Suns have scored the last two goals. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Ainsworth wears his heart on his sleeve and he just bleeds for this footy club. He wins the contest. Too far out to score. Sure. Well, it boots it. Marks. McCartney. Just gauging which way that wind is blowing. 40 metres out. Going for goal number two. He gave it a crack, but it sailed wide of the goal. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. Akins presents and takes the mark. 30 metres out. Now, even Pythagoras would have trouble working out these angles. It goes through for a behind. They've got a behind. Now they need to switch on because there's a real chance the opposition can go coast to coast and put them further behind. He steadies now in front of goal. 30 metres from home. They really need a goal on the board now. Lots of time left to play. The margin might be a little too big though. May has a lovely kick on him. If he can utilise that in heavy traffic, he will become crucial to his team's finals ambitions. He plays on with the ball. He's blocked it. He's got a handball away. He gets boot to the ball. Wits takes the mark. He slams that on the boot, Paul, with an easy mark. Low spearing kick. Swallow marks it. Swallow is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. He gets boot to the ball. He marks the ball. He kicks the ball. Wits marks the ball. He's got a hold of that one. The mark will be paid. Kicked by Swallow. Lynch marks it. Takes his time as he lines up the goal. It's okay to have butterflies, just get them in flying formation. Score for the Suns. Lynch gets number four. The lead has been increased. That could be the final nail in the coffin. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. The bounce is straight as an arrow. I think St Kilda mids will be saying to the rest of the team that they've lived up to their end of the deal. They're dominating the clearances, but they aren't seeing any reward for their work on the scoreboard. Lynch gets the ball. Lynch takes a shot. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce, long it decisively. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Witz guides it. Lynch holding the ball as he's collected by Stephen. Gets boot to high. McCartan alone for the uncontested mark. Kicks. He spent that one before he had it. Joyce has been a step and a half too slow all game. Approaching the goals now. 
He has no trouble grabbing that one. 20 meters out. Now this shouldn't be too hard for Akins. Akins with the goal. We'll be happy with goal number two. Plenty of time left on the clock. But it will be an uphill battle to close that margin. Bounce is dead straight. Claimed by Wits. Able to grab it on the half volley. Carlisle sends the ball on its way. Harbrook has the passion for this game and that shines through every time he plays. He gets boot to the ball. Miller with the mark. He gets boot to the ball. He gets it under pressure. Lynch takes a shot at goal. Brown looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Jams it on the boot now. Nunes wins the marking contest. Gets boot to high. Wright wins the marking contest. 45 meters out. Wright shoots for goal. Wright with the goal. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Wright got a really good footballing brain. Here's the bounce. Wits is really good at getting up in the ruck, but his directional taps need some more work. The mark will be paid. If he sinks this, this is going to be a real morale booster for the team. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Long it with the first touch. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. Make playing on out of the goal square. Sends the Sharon on its way. Intercepted. Willock with his head down, running for home. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Wow, do they need to score. And they like it behind the goals. He likes it. Goal. Four goals and he's got it on a string. Well, they got that badly needed goal. Can they build on top of this? The Saints need to play on at all costs now and start getting some more running goals on the board. The ball mopped up. Swallow kicking the ball free of the pack. Lynch with a chance if he keeps a cool head. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop punt. Archie setting his sights on the goals. Choose to kick it. Great mark. Perspiring like it putting in a pot as he lines the shot up. Going for goal number six. You can see that happening right after it left his boot. The Suns with a healthy gap on the scoreboard leading the Saints 102 to 65. It's time to roll the dice out there and see how the game might open up. Yes, the Saints might get hurt on the rebound, but I think more scoring opportunities will present themselves. Ainsworth with the pick up. Cleared by Longer. Lynch gathers it. Going for goal number six. Gets the behind. Gold Coast with the advantage as they lead the Saints 103 to 65. Brown has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. He takes control of the loose ball. Shot at goal by Martin. Chalk up a goal for Gold Coast. They're starting to stamp their dominance on this game. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Witz taps it, Lynch collects it. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. Gets boot to high, over the top of the pack. Lining up the goal now. 45 metres out. Kick the goal by Lynch. The goal eludes him, just wide of the target. The Suns in front. Well, fortune favours the brave. It's time the Saints stopped playing safe with their possession and took the game on. He gets boot to the ball. Ross really forced to earn that mark. He's got a hold of that one. Miller takes a contested mark. Miller goes for home. Oh, and it's gone through for a behind. Gold Coast leads by 46. He has a few options. Wins the handball. Opportunity now for Ainsworth. 30 meters from home. Ainsworth unloads one towards goal. That could be the final nail in the coffin. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Punch by Longer. Man down. There's a guy down. We need a medic. Can you tell us more, Richard? Thompson will see no further action after that injury. He puts it out of bounds on the full. 
Thompson on for Gold Coast. Harbro kicks it. Great mark. Steele kicks it. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Well, uh, he's creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Akers could be trying not to stuff this one up. Gresham gathers it. He runs into the goal. Ah, the kick is no good. St Kildick Petraly. Mate waiting for the man to free up. He plays it to himself. Kicks. A mark by Weller. 50 metres from home. Pumps it inside the 50. A good mark under the circumstances. Jams it on the boot now. Lemons. Marks. Puts boot to ball. Takes it well. Steel. Winds it up. You'll need a long-range boomer from here. A set shot on a 45-degree angle. Well, that was a brave shot. Good goal. The Saints fans will beat the traffic home today. All is in readiness. The bounce. Hit by Longer. Well, it made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Boots it. Martin cocks it up. The ball mopped up. He hand passes the ball. Interception. Lynch unloads one towards goal. To be generous, you'd say he was just wide of the mark with that shot. The Suns in front. Brown waiting for his teammates to break. They're using the Tokyo subway play. Martin controls it. Ainsworth thumps the ball for goal. Gold Coast beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 119 to 72. Brown waiting to bring it back into play. He kicks it to himself. Jams it on the boot. Great mark. Steele kicks it. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Martin might struggle for this distance. He's kicking from a 45 degree angle. Listen, here's the thing. This game is over before it began and I don't think there's anything further I can add that will shed light on this outcome. Very one-sided. St Kildick not offering a challenge. Final scores at 119 to 72. That's it for us. I will see you again, but not yet. Not yet.